Hi, Kate. Welcome to Eve Innovation Could Talk. Hi, Eva. Thanks a lot for having me. Pleasure. Kate, tell us about Melbourne International Film Festival and what do you do there? Uh, the Melbourne International Film Festival is the longest running film festival in Australia and one of the longest running film festivals in the world. And I'm really lucky to be one of the programmers on the programming team there. So what does um, programming do? Well, uh, it's uh, quite a, a massive job. There's only a team of four of us and we put together the film program for the festival each year. Um, in a regular year of in-person attendance, in cinema attendance, um, that can be in excess of 350 films, including short films as well as features. Wow. Um, now that is actually very interesting considering, you know, you came from a very different background. Um, I remember when we chatted um, earlier on, you said you were a nurse assistant before. Oh uh, yeah, that was my very first job, um, you know, when I was a, a young teenager. Um, which was, you know, great experience for me um, getting out into the world and um, learning that kind of responsibility and being um, exposed to that kind of, of work was very interesting. I think it taught me a lot of empathy, um, which I've carried through the rest of my working life, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, as time goes on, you start to realise there are things that you're particularly interested in and maybe you'd like to move into that arena. And I've been very fortunate um, to be able to pursue that in regards to film. So in your current role, you know, what does innovation mean? Give us an example of that. Um, well, in terms of this year and how we dealt with the, um, the coronavirus pandemic and how it affected Melbourne specifically, I mean, we went into stage four lockdown just before our festival started. So we were quite fortunate really in the end that we had decided to go online and we literally had a captive audience. So we were very fortunate in that regard because the festival did very well um, going online and having that available to people. And in terms of being a point of difference to what they're already exposed to through other streaming services, um, in order to create or try and recreate a festival experience. We had some spotlight events, which were timed screenings, uh, which was kind of a way to create some community vibe as well, which I think a lot of people were quite disappointed not to have this year. So it was a great way to try and recreate that. That is wonderful because I love Melbourne. Uh, my brother lives in Melbourne and I've been to Melbourne so many times. And you're right, you know, in Melbourne is all about the vibe. And when yeah. you're in lockdown, whilst yeah, you have a captive audience, you also try to recreate the vibe. What was that process like, you know, um, in trying to come up with a new product or a new way of delivery? Well, I mean, we had a lot of research that went into it, a lot of collaboration with our uh, online streaming platform partner. We did a, a lot of collaboration with them, a lot of investment in their platform to be able to present things in the way that we wanted to. The integrity of our programming was paramount to us. Um, so yeah, it was really just a lot of hard work and dedication on behalf of our very small team um, to bring all that together. And also I think the relationships that we have with our ongoing distributors and sales agents, we were really able to work with them to bring those things to life with the festival. So what scares you most about, um, you know, the implementation of innovation? I think, and we, we've spoken about this in the past, my least favourite expression is, um, this is the way we've always done it. Um, I, I think that's a really, that, that phrase really scares me because it just, it screams of stagnation. And I think stagnation is, one of the, the worst things when it comes to innovation and particularly innovation in the arts. Um, if somebody says that's the way we've always done it, I think that that is actually a call to change however it is that that thing is being done. Innovation to me is, is looking at something in a new way and being creative about how to solve it. Yeah, I agree. My pet hate is um, whenever someone says, oh, we've always done it this way, it's almost like, um, yeah, it's to me, it's like, okay, that's actually high time to look at why, you yes. know? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and what, what is it can, that we can do differently? Yeah. Yes. yes. 
So mm-hmm. going forward, knowing, um, you know, what do you know now? And now that you have tried new things as well, you know, might the festival look different the next year, do you think? Look, I think that's inevitable. Um, we're all dying to get back into the cinema and we're very lucky in Melbourne, the cinemas have just reopened. Um, so we're all going to be going back very, very quickly. But I think we need to be really um, mindful about the landscape now and how different it is and I think it's inevitable that the festival will have to have some kind of hybrid presentation so we will have in cinema events because that's at the core of who we really are and and we love the film going community in Melbourne and we want to see them we want them to come out and be with us in person um, but we also want to like we had some great strides this year with the online presentation in terms of access and accessibility to this to the festival and I don't think that we can really go forward without being mindful of that and making sure that that's a component for the future as well. That's fantastic so just one last question Kate um, if you could recommend a film a favorite film which one would it be? Um, from this year um, without a doubt, my, my favourite film of this year so far is First Cow by Kelly Reichardt. It was our opening night film. Um, I was incredibly fortunate um, to interview Kelly Reichardt uh, for the Q&A. And it, it's just a beautiful film about frontier America. Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's a story of, of a young man, these two uh, entrepreneurs, an unlikely friendship, and the basic stealing of milk from a, the first cow in the area to to kind of you know bring home their dreams, uh, their American dreams. Yeah, it's okay. a lovely, lovely film. We have to look out for it then. Kate, thank you so much for spending time with us, and we wish you every success. You know, for the festival. Thanks, Eva.